Lens Buddy is my buddy. There's so many apps for creators. I do everything on my phone, even edit. I put everything that we're going to discuss today in categories just so it's a little more organized. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your creator friends. Sharing is caring. Starting with the phone itself, I have the iPhone 15, as you can tell from the title, and it is the 512 gigs. And I got the pink one. Every first category is going to be apps you need to purchase things. Starting with Afterpay. And you're probably like, Afterpay? Afterpay is such a key tool for creators, especially when you're a creator that's on a budget like myself. We can shop it and then you can pay for it in four payments every two weeks. And they give you a very good budget. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I started at $1,000. So don't run it up like it's a credit card, but essentially you can still purchase some things that you might not have the money for right now. And as long as you give them their monies in two weeks, you're good to go. And now we're moving on to Amazon. Who doesn't love Amazon? Amazon is self-explanatory. I do not need to go into any detail, but you can also pay off of Afterpay and it connects to your Amazon account. Next is Etsy. If you're one of the DIY creators or if you are a person that teaches people how to digital plan, everything is right here. Same thing for Sephora, makeup content creators, beauty influencers, skincare girls need to have this app it is mandatory ulta sephora's little sister i don't need to say anymore target self-explanatory target does have great deals especially if you're a hair care influencer content creator and then believe it or not groupon imagine if you're vlogging and you want to have a spa day and you're just like geez I don't have the $300 to go to the fancy spa. You will literally go on Groupon, find that fancy spa. You will book your Groupon and get your deal and you will still be able to create your vlog. As content creators, we always have to think outside of the box. The next category is if you are a content creator that wants to film in different locations, Airbnb, see exactly what fits the aesthetic or the vibe for the video that you're going for. Now, if you're someone like me and you're like, hey, Airbnb is just a little too pricey and I only want it for a couple of hours, Pure Space is it. You can rent it or book it as they would say for a couple of hours. It depends on what the description says as per that owner. And you go, you book, you set up, you film, you get the vibes, you get the content. Pure Space, in my opinion, is amazing for photo shoots or something very quick and easy of a video, maybe like a skincare routine and you just want a fancy aesthetic bathroom. The next category is editing. Some of these you guys should have already known about, so I'm not even going to go in depth. I'm just going to read down the line. Canva, you can edit videos as well as editing your photos. Canva is so freaking cool. The free version as well as the pro version because I'm always team free. Next is CapCut. We already know CapCut has became the newest, best free tool. Next is iMovie. She is a classic. And lastly, InShot. I used to use InShot before CapCut came out. Do pay for InShot's membership, which is an annual fee of, I believe, like $14.99. So it is definitely cheaper than a lot of other editing tools like Video Leap. Moving on to finances. I take finances very seriously when we get paid as content creators. Of course, when it is bigger brands, we automatically just give them PayPal or check, whatever you prefer. When we're doing things, I guess you can say off the books or project based, then that's when I offer people my cash app. If they still choose to pay digitally, if they wanna pay in cash, that is fine as well if we are in person. I never give anybody my personal bank account information just to be safe and I never wanna be sorry. This category is taking photos or photo editing, starting with Daz Cam. If you're looking for the vintage film 90s vibe, that is a perfect app for that. Facetune or Facetune 2, that is an oldie but goodie. Insta size. 
I love the fact that they came out with this because sometimes you just don't want to have to resize or reorganize or get a whole new photo. And it's definitely great for graphic designers to size it accordingly and you're good to go. They made it so easy for us. Lens Buddy is my buddy. I've used Lens Buddy well before the pandemic, well before it was a viral app. It is fantastic. Affiliate marketing apps are a little bit different because you have to apply for it but once you register and once you get approved because you will get approved ltk creator as well as magic links those two i am signed up with staley inside if you guys want to follow me on them it's not about the money it's about the resources and what you're able to give to your audience storage is super important as a creator because we just run out of room there will never be enough storage for a content creator so there are free options like google drive dropbox files that already comes with an iphone google photos lastly some mandatory apps that you just cannot go without as a content creator linktree pinterest that's a no-brainer instagram tiktok if you're an og like me then twitter or x no one calls it that zoom is very important you are an amazon creator the amazon live creator app is fantastic i have gone live on there a couple of times is not too shabby so let me know in the comments below if there's an app that you would like for me to teach you on maybe a little how to or just go in more depth about thank you for watching what's on my iphone 15 content creator needs i hope this video was insightful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and click the notification bell to keep up with me and i'll catch you guys next video